All right. Um, had an issue with one of the wires on my Leopard motor, and this was from the previous owner. They sort of tinned all this section where they connected the six mil connector. Um, at one point, I was trying to sort of flex the area, and it snapped, <clears throat> which led me to uh, attempting to solder on the copper wire, and you would get some solder on there and basically just fall right off and uh, come to find out kinda makes sense copper can get corroded very easily so uh, they've got some enamel some sort of coating on the copper wire and it resists uh, the solder sticking to it so it just fall right off and I tried uh, some rosin flux and flux cord wire, all kinds of stuff, and nothing would let it stick. Um, so I heard about a method <coughs> using aspirin, uh, bare aspirin, and it, I guess probably shouldn't be the uh, chewables or the flavored type, but evidently you can sort of put the wire on top and heat it up and um, it's supposed to be able to strip that coating off the wire and allow it to be soldered. So I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens. Um, and if it works, then this will be on YouTube. And if it doesn't work, then you won't know. Because I won't post this video. Now one thing to note here while this is heating up puts off some smoke and some dangerous fumes so uh, make sure you're in a well ventilated area a lot of times I like to set up a fan that where the airflow is passing up above my work uh, to draw that away from myself and away from the area I'm in <clears throat> see some smoke. Magic's happening. The uh, sort of bubbling, boiling you're seeing there is that coating on the wires coming off. You could potentially take each strand of wire and scrape it they make some tools for that too, but man, if this works in just a few seconds, some coating, that would be pretty amazing. Make sure to clean your soldering iron from whatever nasty gunk that is. Oh, good. Alright, so we can actually see there it. It did something, um, and certainly on a smaller motor, a single aspirin tablet probably would have done it. Um, but being a big fifth scale motor, we're going to take a second round of it here. The magic of aspirin solves everything. <coughs> I'm not coughing from the odors. I got a little cold I'm getting over. Lots of 
gunk coming off there. Kind of see some on there. Try one more. <clears throat> Back up a bit. Don't want any of those vapors in my face. There's another trick I read about where people were using radiator fluid or coolant for your car and took, uh, you know, half a day or something sitting in there and it's really, <clears throat> seems like a big hassle this so far has been <clears throat> pretty fast and easy. Now, we'll probably uh, keep working on this and get it better. We'll probably use some uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean it up and get any of that residual chemical off there, but for the sake of <coughs> the video, uh, yeah, it's still pretty nasty in there. <coughs> See if it now will take some solder. See there, it's now sucking in the solder like you might expect instead of sitting on the top or beating up, rolling off. Um, so I would definitely say it works. And um, some simple aspirin, it's recommended to use the name brand. Uh, I'm not sure now if you pronounce it bear or by your how you pronounce it, but uh, these guys are sort of the originals when it comes to the pharmaceutical companies, and it works. So now I can get them tinned up and then get my eight millimeter bullets on there. This will be going in my or back into my X Max. It was already in there, um, swapped from the Max Five 
ESC over to a uh, Castle XLX. I'm going to see how much faster it'll go. Anyway, thank you for checking it out, and uh, hopefully this helps people out there solve a, a problem that you run into. Thank you.